Hi, and welcome to my channel. Now, I do read every single comment. Uh, I don't always reply to every single one. I haven't always got the time, know the answer, or some of them don't need replying to at all. So if I do miss them out, I do apologise, but uh, you know, obviously other things to do, and even just making these videos to sometimes take a day or two just to do one video. A questions that's come up every now and again, and there only been a few to be honest with you, probably 10 over all my videos and all the comments left over the last couple of years, is how do I connect up the speakers, my speakers, to my amplifier, or vice versa, the amplifier to the speakers. It may seem a pretty easy thing to do, but uh, if you're a newbie or someone that's never done it, a bit wary, a bit scared, something like that, I don't know, uh, I thought I'd put this video together maybe to help them people out. So it's not gonna be for everyone this video, that's for certain, but uh, what I will be covering is uh, how to connect up bare wire to bare wire from the amplifier to the speaker. I've got a, one speaker that's got quite a multitude of connections on it, and I brought a couple of amplifiers out to show you how to connect it up to that particular speaker, which should, should resemble your speaker and amplifier. Uh, you may have something a little bit more unusual, so if that's the case, I do apologize, but hopefully a combination of these will result in your amplifier speakers getting connected up to your system. And so bare wire to bare wire, I'm gonna be covering, I'm gonna be covering bare wire to uh, banana plugs, nearly forgot what these are called. Uh, I'm going to be covering banana plug to banana plug connections and also banana plug to spade connections and that also will include spade to bare wire. You'll get the gist of it throughout the video. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it and show you a few different ways of connecting up your speakers to your amplifier. Okay, in this part of the video, I'm going to show you a uh, way of connecting up the connections. Uh, these particular connections I've got here, uh, how they're held it together. I shall show you that in a minute. I'm just going to show you a, a typical speaker wire you may get hold of. Something like this, it may be like this, that it's actually kind of like easy to see. You've got the red being the positive and the clear, no markings being the negative. Now, obviously you could swap it around, as long as you know what it is, you could quite easily use the red as the negative, as long as you know it's marked up and you know what each end is and they're both exactly the same. But obviously, in, you know, easy way of doing this and remembering this is red is gonna be the positive on this particular cable here. Now this particular cable here, you may have a cable like this, a black cable uh, like this, or you may have a white cable like this, and there's no particular markings on it. Now you may be able to feel on this particular cable here, they put a, a little kind of like ridge in the cable, it's on this side, and that would indicate to you that all the way along this cable, it's obviously the same connection all the way along this, this end here, as long as it's the ridge, and the other end, long as it's the ridge, they're connected. So you could have that ridge as your positive or your negative. I use it as it's my positive because it's a ridge, it's a positive kind of thing. So both ends must have the positive connector on them. So they're both exactly the same. Like I say, you may have a black piece of wire. You may have a wire that's got no markings, no ridges or nothing on it. Now pay particular attention to that. You want to make sure you could, you know, you're connecting up the same positive and positive both ends. What you could do is actually split that wire right the way along and just pull it apart all the way along so you've got two wires so you're not going to get mixed up or you could just you know go along it with your finger all the way along uh, to make sure you've got both ends uh, are positive and the other end of the wire is positive as well you know it's the same cable both ends like i say what you could do if there's no markings you just split it like that you've got two wires and there's no way of getting mixed up there but uh, this one here has got the ridge and this other one uh, where is it has got the red on there to show you what it is Okay, that said, what we're going to do here is just show you what I do and what you should do maybe uh, for your cable is that uh, you want to make sure both this is, you may get the cable like this, and what you don't want to do is cut one end longer than the other. You want them both the same length. There is a reason for this uh, that may, that may, you know, may come across, uh, especially I do, and I might make sure they're both exactly the same length, is that uh, you know, may have accidentally unplugged a speaker or something like that, and you're going to have two wires at the other end, something like this, just danged in there. You forgot to connect it back up to the speaker and whatever. Now, if you've got both the same length, as you can see, here, it's pretty hard for them two wires because they're knocking against each other to touch each other. These to touch each other, it's going to be pretty hard. Not unless you pull this right back, something like this. Then, obviously, if they're on the floor, it's a bit more easier for them to, to touch each other. But if you had it nice and tight, which I can't show you now because I've just pulled them apart. But if that cable was as it was a minute ago, like that, so they're pretty much like that, it's pretty hard for them to, to touch each other. So something you may want to bear in mind maybe, I mean, it's not a lifesaver or anything like that, but you know, if you're constantly swapping speakers or something like that, 
it's a good idea to have them both the same length. So when you actually come to cut this cable, you get this cable wherever you buy it from, this is pretty much the same. But just make sure both of them are the same length. So one way of doing it, obviously, is just to put the cutters in or your scissors, whatever you're using, and just cut both ends. And now they're both exactly the same length, but you don't want too much play in either. You just want a little bit of play at this end. You don't want it so that, you know, they're quite tight this end. You don't want it like it was a minute ago where they're like this really all dangling about just in case they touch when you haven't got them plugged in but this is only going to apply to a few people keep swapping speakers about etc you know it's quite easy done i've done it turn the amplifier on and i haven't got those speakers plugged in the other end so once getting these you want to bear these wires i'll use this i mean you can use scissors whatever you want to that kind of length so that's that one and that's that one so once they're bared, just give them a little, keep, make sure your hands are nice and clean as well, because you don't want to get any uh, contamination on them wires at all. Just bear them, not you really bear them, just spin them around like that. So now they're going to fit into my connectors, uh, which I should do very, very shortly. So yeah, just make sure your hands are nice and clean when you do that. These are nice, really shiny uh, gold or bronze kind of colour. They're nice and shiny. What you don't want, and I've done this on purpose down the other end, it's hard to see here really, there's a difference. These are a little bit dirty now, where I've had them out for a while and keep on turning them. They're not quite as bright, probably don't show up on camera, but they're not quite as bright. And this could be like after a time, if you're plugging this into your amplifier, like so, bare wires like this, no connections. Uh, after a time, the oxides and all that gunk and all the crap kind of builds up on it and just loosens the connection, you know, just makes that connection quite not so good. Uh, so yeah, uh, once you do it, just do it, try and do it once and get a proper connector on it, like so. Uh, so they're nice and clean, so when you put them in the connections, when the screw goes in there, it's a nice, clean, you know, great fit, a great fit. Uh, a great connection, as well as a great fit, but yeah, a great connection. Okay, let's uh, wire up a couple of wires. Okay, I've actually taken one apart here just to go back over it again, but we've got our bare wire here. This is my spade adapter. Now, these are supposedly 24 karat gold plated, how true that is, I do not know. But, uh, you know, obviously, depending which ones you buy, you're going to get better quality ones. Uh, but for my channel, the, the, these are OK. You know what I mean? Uh, you may you, know, you could spend probably £100 on a set of adapters quite easy. Uh, it's up to you how far you want to go. But these are quite nice, solidly made. I like the uh, thing that it's got two screws, so the wire's going to get a, you know, a good connection in there. With this particular one, you have to put the casing on first uh, over the wire. So we do that, so the casing's on the wire ready to go. And all you do is just push them that wire in there as far as it goes. Like, just get it in there nice and tight, like so. A bit awkward on camera. And just get your screwdriver and tighten up both screws. So you may see me do this, you may not on camera. So a look, I just don't want to take too long. But just do them nice and tight. So that's screw number one. Now you want it quite tight because that cover's got to go over. But there's a little bit of a gap, a little bit of a leeway if that screw doesn't completely go in nice and flush. So there is some kind of leeway there. It's not critical, the screw's got to go nice and flush. And that one's going in just a bit further. So that's in there like so. And the cover just goes on, pushes on and screws on like so. And that's a nice fit there. Uh, I've already done this one and just see me do that one. So that's the spade connector connected up to this wire. And that was the red, red sleeving on the outside showing that this is red and it's easy enough because we've got red on the cable as well but the red there writing shows you that's the uh, positive one so that's the spade done let's just show okay banana plug uh, it's not too fussy this time this can put this on last there's no need to put this over the wire straight away that's one nice thing about this and we can just push that wire in there and do the two screws up so this is one screw Nice and tight. Do it as tight as possible. I'm, I'm rushing a little bit for the video because I've got to do two screws and it all takes time. There you go. So that's nice and tight. And once we've got that in nice and tight, this goes over the connection and just do that up nice and tight. So that's the one done there. And as you can see, red goes to the red here. So we know that's red. We can easily see it by the wire. And this is the clear one. Um, Okay, so on this one, I've just got a little very small lead here. I'm just going to show you. We're going to connect that up to the amplifier later on in another part of the video. But for the time being, this is just the banana type connector. The positive is with a little kind of notch in the cable. Little notch in the cable indicates positive, and obviously both ends are positive. Make sure that notch 
you connect positive to one end, the uh, connector is positively marked and positively marked down the other end, i.e. this is the red connector, so that lets me know this is positive and the other end this is the red connector, this lets me know this is positive and obviously the other two are negative, so it's very straightforward, push the positive in there and it's nice and tight, give it a good push and the negative to the negative, so you've got the positive going to the positive, negative to the negative and we're going to do exactly the same the other end to the amplifier, which like I say should follow up straight after this video so we're going to take them out they're using banana plugs uh, the next way i'm going to show you is using a spade adapter so if i get the lead to show you the spade adapter got a different cable here the red here is positive the red part of the cable has got a red line down the cable let me know that's positive and this here is completely clear no markings this is the negative and if you can see this is kind of like the positive uh, connector is in red and the right in here is in black to indicate the negative so what we're going to do here is we're just going to unscrew these these just unscrew up a bit let's take them completely off and this just goes underneath now if I show you here it'll be a bit more clearer it literally just it's like a spade adapter just pushes underneath like so and we're going to turn it around just to make it nice, nice and neat and just tighten it up and that's going to be on that connector and the positive goes over to here and that's on the positive so they're spades and obviously the other end of this cable will go to your amplifier which I shall show you shortly so that's using spade connectors now we're going to take them off like so put them aside I'm going to show you one more connection on this speaker here and this is just using bare wires so for bringing the two bare wires uh, actually, let's get this other cable maybe a bit easier. There's two bare wires there, and this one is, uh, well, we can use this end, there's two bare wires there. Uh, that is the positive being red, and that is the negative. Now, on that other piece of wire I just showed you, if I just bring it in, you would do exactly the same with here if you're using this type of wire, but don't forget the notch would be positive. Uh, it doesn't have to be, you can make that the negative if you want to, but just so you know, what that notch is does it represent negative or does it represent positive at both ends going back to the cable here the nice easy one to see so you know what's happening just going to do these again i'll take a picture let's have a look and just tilt it up you may be able to get that on camera you may be able to see two holes there that the wire is going to go through i'll take a little picture to show you but there's two holes there not all speakers have got them and we're going to push it in them holes like so just push the cable through the hole and tighten it up on that positive to positive that's the red cable like so and the negative to the negative through that hole there like so so now that's connected up to the speaker using the little hole brackets there well not brackets holes there in the uh, connections another way of doing this with bare wires is if you haven't got them holes not all speakers have got them holes and if that's the case it is really recommended that you use these spade adapters to go underneath where there's no holes there now if you haven't got these spade adapters but it's highly recommended you get those because you haven't got the banana connections is you can actually put the wire like so and just tighten it up and that will still be okay not the preferred method positive to positive obviously so it's just literally resting the wire and just tightening up nice and tight now the wire is not going through the hole that's if you haven't got an hole there for the wire to go through so that's another way of connecting up these speakers and it's nice and tight probably not the preferred way a banana clip or spade adapter is probably the better bet okay on this particular amplifier we haven't got much choice in speaker outputs we've got speakers a and speakers b and they've got kind of these spring loaded connections here where you poke the wire through that hole with it pushed down like that you push the wire in let's just show you so you get an idea you just push that down and the wire goes in you let go and it clamps it in position we've got speakers a speakers b on your particular amplifier you may have main and remote or speakers one speakers two but each bank you may not have the second bank you may just have one bank and they've got left and right on each we're going to call this the right speaker so we haven't got much choice here but here we've got a few choices as shown we've got the spade we've got the banana and we've got the bare wire method of connecting up this speaker. So what I'm going to do is just show you a couple of ways of doing this on this particular speaker and amplifier. 
like I say, not much choice here, but we've got a few choices as shown at the top. So we're going to use the phonos for the speaker connection itself. So the red is connected to the red and the black is connected to the black. So we push them in nice and tight. And don't forget that I've wired this up. This wire here is not very easy to define, but uh, the one with a little bit of a ridge is the positive. That's how I've wired it up. So we make sure the one with the ridge, just feed it with my finger, goes to the positive of your speaker. So I'm going to make this the right speaker, speaker set A, and that's going to push in, push that down, push in, and let go, and that's clamped in there. So that's the positive wide up, and we're going to do the same with the negative. Push that in, push it in there nice and tight. We don't want to see it sticking out. These should be to the correct length. They should, you know, you, should have, you shouldn't have it. So where you push it in, the wires are sticking out like so. Hopefully you can see that. You don't want the wires sticking out. You don't want to see any gold, any bronze, any colouring at all. You want to push it in there nice and tight. So there is no, it's a little bit, a tad long on this one, just a tad, a millimetre long probably. But you want it in there so there's no wires. So no wires. What you don't want is them wires being a bit like so where they can move about a bit and sometimes a strand comes across and will touch the other side. And if that was the case, you'd blow a fuse or short out the speaker. So these need to be the correct length. I mean, if they're too long, just give them a little snip. So when you push them in there, you can't see the copper colored wire at all. So that's connecting it up like so. I'm just gonna show you a couple of other little methods here. <clears throat> this is a different wire again, which I've been using. This has got the red that's labeled up nice and easy to see red and that's got no color at all so the red's going to be positive so the red i'm going to do that nice and tight we're going to push that in like so and the negative do that nice and push down and push that right in like so the other end here of this particular wire I've got the red and the clear so the red's positive now the red we're going to do it through the little holes so we're going to undo that you can take it from the top, you can take it from the bottom, either way, that hole goes all the way through. We'll take it from the top here. The red goes in there like so, nice and tight. And we're going to do the same with the black as well. Let's just get that. And we'll push that through the hole there. So that's one channel, that's the right channel wired up. And we're doing exactly the same for the left channel as well. Now you could take these out. And you could just, if you didn't have that hole, you could just do them like so. So they're pushing against the metal. That's if you didn't have these banana plugs. Good idea to get banana plugs if you can, if you've got the facility on your speakers to accept the banana plugs. So that would be like so. That would be wired up like that for one speaker. What you could do also, obviously, is connect one of these spade adapters to this wire, nice and tight. Then you could put the spade adapter underneath the speaker like so so that's a few ways there of wiring up this particular amplifier with a pair of speakers that's got a few uh, ways of connecting them up okay on this particular amplifier we've got a few different ways of connecting up the speakers to the amplifier uh, and we've got sets a and b we're just going to concentrate with the top set top set being set a and we've got the left and right actually right and left the way it's labeled up here right on this side left on this side positive and negative for left negative and positive for right so we're going to get our speaker cables here they are uh, and this one is the one that's got the little notch don't forget on the side here little notch let me know that i've wired that up to the positive of the speaker cable this is banana plug to banana plug banana plugs both end of the cable and what we're going to do we're going to count this is the right speaker again and we're going to push this in the positive here into the positive of that and we're going to put the negative into the negative there and the other end is straightforward we're going to put the positive into the positive of the speaker and the negative into the negative of the speaker now that's just one speaker wired up there i've just wired up the right speaker we do exactly the same for the left speaker so then you've got both pairs connected i'm going to show you another way of connecting these so if we take those out Now this would be a way if your particular speaker didn't have a way of using the banana plugs. Uh, you just had a, maybe a way of connecting bare wires to them, something like that. So what we're going to do, exactly the same here, same wire. Don't forget the little notch here is the positive. So positive into positive, 
negative into negative and your speakers may have bare wires of a connection like no phone, no, no way of getting a spade on there. So we're going to make sure, just check that notch, that's the positive. We're going to push that just underneath, nice and tight like so, positive to positive, and we're going to connect the negative as well. Negative to negative. So that's that speaker connected that way. Just going to show you one more way of doing that. So let's undo this. Let's pull this out and we'll show you the way of using the spade adapter. So using the spade adapter, we've got this particular cable now, nice easy one to see. I mean, we've got the red for the positive and the clear is the negative. And at the other end, we've got spade adapters here to connect if your speakers hasn't got the phono and the only way of connecting is through a spade. So we're just gonna do the right channel again. So we're gonna push the phono, sorry, not the phono, the banana plug, shall I say, into the speaker socket, like that, the connection. So red to red, the clear, which is a negative, into the negative like so. And the other end, we've got these spade adapters, and that's the red one, also connected up red there. And we just undo that and tighten it. I won't over tighten it, you'll get the gist. And undo this one and there like so. So with this particular cable, we've got the red going to red and the clear going to the clear. No markings on this side. So that connects up the right channel. So that's another way. Right, I'm gonna show you one more way of connecting the amplifier to the speakers. Now, this has got banana plug facility on the back, but we can also use a spade. I mean, your one may just be like this and not have the banana plug on the back there, these holes for the banana plug, maybe just a, a plastic, completely sealed uh, connection. And what you're gonna see inside, just show a photograph there, is the actual uh, metal connections. And uh, for that, you'll need a spade uh, cable. Uh, you can use bare wires. I mean, I could push the bare wires. I don't like doing it. I'd rather have a spade really, but you can actually use a cable with bare wires like so. Obviously red would go to red or the positive with that notch would go to positive of the speaker. So we'll literally just put it in there like so. It's a bit ugly. It's okay. But the wires don't always fit uh, in there correctly. Uh, you see a little bit of uh, copper hanging out and it's not always nice and tight. And as you tighten it, it kind of goes around and suddenly all of a sudden just falls out, even though you've done it nice and tight, it ends up falling out. So not a great way of doing it. A better way is actually to connect them wires to a spade adapter. As you can see, the red spade adapter is connected to the red wire. I'm gonna do it, it's a bit awkward going underneath this way like that. You can, it can be done, but we're gonna do it this way. Your amplifier will probably be a little bit different, a bit more kinder than this particular one is. But we do the positive there to the positive and the negative to the negative, like so. Just making sure they're nice and tight. Now just don't be a bit careful here. I'm just gonna bring this camera around a little bit maybe, and hopefully you're gonna see this if I just bring this camera around just a tad more, is that when you do these spades like this, just move that wire out of the way as well, is that uh, you don't actually do it up. There's a gap in between. There's a nice big gap in between the two spade connections there. So if I get a screwdriver, just to show you, there's a big, nice big gap in between the two spade connections like so. What you don't wanna do, and be careful, make sure these are nice and tight, because over time they can move about a little bit. So if I keep that one, tight as possible and move this one across like so and maybe move this one as well but maybe something like that get them nice and tight there are to keep but if you pull these wires a bit i'm just going to exaggerate a little bit here but just want to be careful when you're doing yarn that these two don't end up touching these two spades do not end up touching each other thus shorting out uh, inside the amplifier maybe blowing a fuse or blowing the amplifier output transistors or something like that so make sure they're apart they're nice and spaced and they're nice and, I'm not gonna over tighten them anyhow, but you get the gist. You're gonna have them nice and tight. So not that speaker wires start moving about everywhere, but if there's a little bit of movement or something, they're not gonna move around and short each other out. So that's just something to bear in mind when using these spade adapters on an amplifier connection like this. We do them up, I ain't over tighten them, I'm just doing them up tight enough just for this video. So we've got the positive again being red and we're gonna do the same here. The red there is connected to the positive here. Uh, my little red 
marking there is the actual right end means it's red but i mean it's unmissable because we've got the red wire there anyway but the red would go into the red of the speaker the positive and the negative into the negative so uh, that's that wired up using a spade adapter on your amplifier and using the banana plug on your speakers now you may not have banana plugs on your speakers so you may have to get a spade and put a spade on the other end of this cable and push it in underneath on the speaker so you've got quite a few ways there of wiring up a pair of speakers to your amplifier so quite a few connections amplifier wise and quite a few connections uh, way of doing them connections should i say on the speakers as well okay that's it hopefully uh, that's uh, answered a few questions for people that are still a bit wary or didn't know how to do that uh, and also uh, you may have picked up another couple of ways of connecting up your speakers to your amplifier that you probably may have not known existed but I very much doubt it but uh, you never know anyway until the next video I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon